Hamilton-based BBC Technologies is the world's leading supplier of blueberry sorting and packing machinery. It's now expanding into machinery that sorts and packs other soft food products such as cherries, small tomatoes, dates, olives and mushrooms. BBC Technologies customers are in 25 countries across the Americas, Europe, Asia and Australia. What we do is both fresh and frozen blueberries. At the moment we pack out our frozen blueberries. Once we get to that stage we have a number of customers that uh, like it packed in their packaging or different ways and that kind of thing. So once we've got the product packed out then we repack it into our customers packaging. What we found was it's incredibly labour intensive. So what we've done with our technology business is with the fill by weight machine and some of the technologies we have, we've combined that in this instance with another company in the US to make an automated bagging machine. Um, the automated bagging machine means we literally can pack probably five to eight times faster with probably half the staff. So that's put us in a great position for our automatic packing. In fact, what we have found is the equipment is actually much faster than what we need, so we run it at about half speed, which is fine. So as our capacity grows, we've got lots of capacity in that equipment to pack much, much faster. What's different about the Fulber weight machine is, uh, first of all, the speed at which it packs at. It um, really can pack very accurately, very quickly, um, you know, and with small fruit. Secondly, it's also very gentle on the fruit. So for our fresh line, that certainly makes a, a massive difference to the fruit quality that we get into the punnets. It's gentle, it's small drops, it's designed around soft product. Small fruit is where we specialise. So, you know, when you have blueberries, cherry tomatoes, grape tomatoes, olives, anything of that kind of size, similar size, similar nature to the product, it literally can transfer straight onto our equipment and run straight through. There's certainly no issues there. With our dry line, it's again all BBC Technologies equipment. There's a few bits of equipment there that really make a difference for us. It's both the uh, defect sorter on the colour sorter piece of equipment and also the soft sorter. Both of those make a massive difference for the quality of product we get out at the other end. So the defect sorter literally takes out those uh, shriveled and berries that are uh, starting to rot or any of those kind of issues. The defect sorter takes that out. The soft sorter takes out literally soft berries. It does a fantastic job. So if we have a line of fruit that would normally have not been able to go fresh because there was a little too much defective fruit in it, we would send it frozen. Now with those pieces of equipment, we can run that fruit through the line, take out all that fruit that we don't want, and we're left with really good quality product, which enables us, to, again, to just get that better quality product to the customer. The price of frozen is significantly lower than fresh, so we have to be far more automated to make it profitable for us. So we have machine harvesting equipment, and then the machine harvested fruit comes to our wet line. With the wet line, again, we're running all BBC Technologies equipment, no surprise there. So we have a colour sorter, which takes out the reds and greens. When we machine harvest, we're quite rough on the bushes, so we get a few greens that drop off, a few reds, a few sticks, a few leaves, all that gets kind of put into a bin ready to process. So with that we have the blower cleaner which takes out the sticks and the leaves, does a great job on that. Then from there we're on to the colour sorter. Again it takes out reds and greens and it also has a defect sort on. So any overripe fruit we can take that out at that point in time. Then we go through a tsunami bath which washes the fruit. Um, across a grading table and by the time it gets to the grading table it's pretty much a grade A fruit right there visual inspections and then from there into the blast freezers where it is blast frozen probably within about 25 minutes it comes out the other end blast frozen. With our customers they're actually quite specific about what size blueberries they want. So I have bakeries who are after small fruit and I have uh, consumer related products which they want large big fruit. So we actually size all our fruit then cross another grading line through metal detection into boxes ready to go to those customers. There's always room for R&D. For example, with any of our sorters, none of them work 100%, so the goal is always to be um, you know, fine-tuning, improving and, and getting, getting better. We've done some really good upgrades and improvements on our soft sorter over the last couple of years, and that's really made a difference from us, you know, probably at 80%, more like you know, 90 95% now. So those little things that we're doing along the way certainly just make better equipment um, you know, and better, better products for our customers. The space one is incredibly competitive. We've got competitors in Europe, North America, South America, Australia and other New Zealand manufacturers all competing for the same customer base we have. We try and make a better product. You know, we come from New Zealand, they're not going to be the cheapest, so we've got to be the best. So we invest a lot of time and resource into R&D. Um, we want to make sure that our products are leading the market. You know, people can copy us and follow us if they want, but we don't have a choice. If we're trying to be second place, we won't get there. We've been looking at image processing, so how do we deal with the product we're inspecting in visible and non-visible light? 
we're starting to look for a lot of attributes you can't see with human eye. So we do a lot of investment in understanding the biology of the product. What does that mean as far as shelf life, eating qualities, a whole bunch of things that allow us to develop a better product than our competitors. We start with mechanical. That's the physical expression of what the product needs to do as far as handling the product and moving it along and what we're going to do with it. Electronics and software are through the control space and the software is really through the decision support. Whether it's how the scales perform, how any of the automation works, or more advanced into that sort of data mining, image processing, really looking at the more advanced decision matrix we're looking for. We specialise in R&D, that's our strength. We don't go out buying big chunks of capital equipment for cutting and bending and folding pieces of metal. We outsource that, so really we're assembly and quality assurance, making sure that our product goes out meeting the customer's expectations on time and under control. We operate out of a European base in the Netherlands. We have US operations, South American operations and dedicated resource for China as well. Last year we were 98% export. We don't have many customers here. Um, so for us, we focus our efforts and energies where our customers are. Um, with a relationship with the Blueberry Country, our sister company, that is our biggest customer in New Zealand. So we don't need to work too hard to sell to them. Um, the rest of it's working offshore. <coughs> This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.